She's like, oh, you get your ass beat if you fucking ride out and someone sees you like that. Today's special guest, we got Young again. Hello, welcome you know, back. From last week. Yes. As promised, we uh, we told you guys we we're gonna be featuring his shovel that he recently finished. Got some new parts for it, and we'll go over the uh, the bike in a minute. But let me give you guys a little sneak peek of the garage that I've been working on for the past week. Busting my ass. I took a week off of work to uh, build this garage. Right now, I'm building shelves for all the tools. I just finished with the shelves. This is actually a second paint job. The original paint that I was gonna go with was too light. I blended in with the wall too much, so I got a darker gray. It's currently, what time is it? 8.52. 8.52. I just finished uh, making this pegboard this morning. Add a little bit border too, make it fancy. You know what I'm saying? But tomorrow I'm gonna be painting the pegboard light grade and the border dark grade so it pops more. And then I also replace the uh what do you call this? The top? The top tabletop? The tabletop of the uh, snap-on toolbox. The old one is super gross. So right now she's uh replacing the old uh mats that were covering the drawers yep with new carpet so it's nice and clean for now for now right now i'm hanging up uh artwork from my old garage and then got the shovel over this thing is a freaking hog yesterday i tried to uh load everything myself but i soon realized that I'm not strong enough. So my friend brought over a trailer and saved the day. Thank you, Tuan. You're the best, bro. So right here, I have the cabinet for my old house. This is where I'm gonna be storing all the power tools. And I built this workbench uh, two days ago to hold my drill press and low helmet shelf. I just recently finished uh, installing the uh, bike mount to save space. I'm a painter by trade, so down there is uh, my painting equipment and then all the miter saws and stuff. And over here we got a couch and then can't forget the uh, the banner, the original banner that oh, yeah. Sheila got for me back in 2013. <laughs> yeah, dude, 2013. So pretty much this wall is going to be like uh, for pictures. And over here we have the uh, snap-on toolbox that fucking almost broke my back. <laughs> so I was going to lift it up by myself <laughs> on a freaking back of a truck That's crazy, man. but then uh, it humbled me real quick i even tried to use a chair picker tried to lift it up but then the uh the strap fucking broke on me and i was like fuck that but yeah that's a sneak peek for the garage all right young shovelhead i got this bike like three years ago um up until then, I never really thought about owning a shovel because, you know, I loved them, but I was committed to my Honda Shadow, right? And so, Sun got a bike and I started seeing him chop it and fuck, it was looking badass, you know? Um, I was I was drooling and then our buddy Dennis Ho, he picked up a shovel and his was like already chopped and I was like, Okay, I'm getting one for sure, you know, for sure. And then, so the first weekend I was looking for a bike, I found this one on Craigslist in Clear Lake, about three hours away. Um, it was going for 3400 The guy said it started, it ran, and it's titled. So I was like, yeah, hell yeah, fuck him. Went to go get it. Um, kind of interesting story. Me and Johnny went to go look at the bike, and the guy, he was just like this older white dude, he came out, kickstarted it right away, and 
me and Johnny were like, okay, yeah, we're getting it. And then as we're signing the paper, his wife comes out and she's like, oh, you're not selling the bike like that. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then she pointed to the sticker right here on the oil tank. And it was a, uh, well, it was, it's not here anymore. But it was a red and white sticker. Ah, uh, it was a so, club bike, huh? Yeah. She's like, oh, you, you get your ass beat if you fucking ride out and someone sees you like that. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, so he peeled it off. You know, we did the paperwork and we took off. And um, me and Johnny went to go get a burger down the street somewhere. And then he pulls up again in his truck. And he was like, okay, oh, oh yeah, I'm using the money you just sold me. I'm going to the clubhouse to get my new bike. And then me and John were like, oh shit, this guy's for real, dude. But yeah, anyway. What bike, a, what bike did he end up picking up? Did he tell you? Yeah, I think he got like a street glide or something. Oh, so I mean, it was, it was expensive. It's like a new bike, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can call this a, a Hell's bike or. But I'm not saying it is. But well, it has saying, a history, right? Yeah. It's exactly. a cool little history. Yeah, so. When I got it, it was it was pretty much stock looking. It was um, a '71 FLH Electric Glide, came with the fat 16-inch wheels, um, the fat bob tank. Everything looked stock. Uh, it had an ugly ass paint job. It was like spray painted purple or some shit. Um, I think it had this SNS carburetor, so that was stock. No, I mean, that came with the, with the bike. Um, it had the electronic ignition, the Dynatec, and it had the open primary. So everything else besides that was all replaced. Um, the first, well, you wanna go from the front of the bike? Yeah. The first thing you'll see is probably the Springer. Um, the Springer I got from our good bunny, Dennis, this, this Springer came with his bike, and when he went with the long front end, he sold it to me for hella cheap. I don't know, it's not the original Harley. I'm pretty sure it's a, a knockoff, maybe mid-USA. Yeah, that? I think I got mine from uh, Throttle Edition. Probably same. Yeah, I think I think mid-USA makes it, but uh, something like that. Um, the headlight is a Honda Shadow headlight. I know it might be blasphemy to put a Honda part on here, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. Looks good though. Yeah, I like it for this bike because it's kind of bulky and then it kind of makes the front end look beefy with this knobby 16 inch uh, Avon MK2 tire. <laughs> That's the number one question that we get. I know, people always ask, like, it's fucking Avon. It's Avon MK2, all right? Yeah. 5x16. Yeah. So going further back, we have these Baxter bars that Sun made famous. <laughs> Um, we still get shit while rocking these, dude. Yeah, these, uh, they're very similar to the bars that the guys in Japan rock. You know, they're inverted, so it's pretty aggressive, but I find it pretty comfortable. Um, and then I got these risers right here. They're from, uh, I think, Throwback Cycle Parts here in Santa Clara. They oh, say, they ain't local. That's sick. Yeah. It's, they say fuck off, and it's a little vulgar, <laughs> but... Um, in, I have I think this is a biker's choice internal throttle assembly yeah how long did it take you to install that Probably like an hour it's, oh that's not bad yeah it's one of the cheaper ones I got on eBay um, it's, it works it's not super smooth but is it responsive it's a little sluggish because it's like metal on metal it's like uh, oh. yeah um, what else the tank I got from auto addiction it's a Frisco mounted Wassel tank with dish side covers. Um, pretty cool. Uh, How many gallons is that? Like uh, it holds 2.2. Oh, 2.2? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. nothing. How's uh, riding with no front brake? Oh. Um, <laughs> well, at least the rear is this, you know, not like a shadow. Yeah, this one, I trust my life with this brake. Uh, the Honda Shadow had a drum brake, which was really crappy. Uh, yeah, I think some a little getting used to, you know, but makes you uh, think ahead pretty much. Yeah, you ride. Yeah. So yeah, the what well, I said the SNS Super E card. This is a wannabe B blocker. <laughs> it's not the real B blocker from old stuff. It was I just got duped into buying this. Yeah, he thought it's a real one, but then yeah. we got it. It's fake, so. Yeah. 
goes to show. Don't trust uh, online sellers. <laughs> yeah. Um, these mids right here is from a company called BNC Cycles. Cycles in Canada. I don't think they make it anymore. I think he stopped making them. Yeah, I think he, he makes seats now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a full kit. Came with the, the bracket, the levers, the pegs. Uh, the only thing I changed out was the rubber pegs and pedal. Um, it was like raw steel before. Uh, so... And yeah, so that goes to the brake link right here. And then this master cylinder right here is a, another Japanese part. It's from the Kawasaki 636. I kind of hid behind the pipe. Oh, dang. Yeah, here's my little... I didn't even see that. That's a good... Uh... Here's my little funky master cylinder reservoir. <laughs> Dude, there's no fucking liquid in there. Dog. Dude, it goes up to here, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you crazy, dog. Uh, these pipes I made, homemade, nothing special. Put some baffles in there because I like it nice and quiet. Um, let's see. What do you call these pipes? You gotta give them a name, dude. I don't know, man. Um, slash. They're not shotguns, but I don't know. Slash S and S. <laughs> yeah. This oil tank, uh, just a standard horseshoe oil tank. Also, Dennis gave it to me. Uh, shout out to Dennis. Thank you. Yeah, that's a common thing for us link splitters. We uh, recycle parts a lot. Yeah, it's funny. Those bars are yours too. Yeah. I wasn't too fond of them at first, but then you <laughs> let me borrow it, and then I decided to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he actually decided to keep this one, and he gave me a new, brand new pair that he bought. Yeah, because <laughs> my bike doesn't deserve new stuff. <laughs> um, so let's go on this side right here. Uh, this is the Dyna Twin Fire Ignition. Electronic ignition, it's pretty solid. It doesn't give me any problems starting. Um, I like the electronic ones. You don't have to tinker with it too much. The points I've heard, they get loose and well, you should know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely know about that problem. Yeah, we have the other side of the mids. Uh, I'm running a suicide clutch. Made this little clutch. What kind of tranny is that? It's not a ratchet, right? Oh no, this one's, um, it's from a later shovel, it's a the rotary top, aka the cow pie. Uh, it's kind of ugly, to be honest. What a cow pie? They call it a cow pie. Oh, I think because it kind of looks like cow shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of ugly. I like the ratchet way better. Yeah. Because the they have so many those uh, shifting levers. Yeah, on. I know. So I had to make this thing, which is kind of ghetto, but it works. Yeah, it's like a socket and then a freaking rod to a shifter. The knob is from Prism Cycles. Uh, so here's the open primary. This one's, I think it's BDL. It came with the bike. Yeah, 1.5, right? 1.5. Yeah. Right? I actually like the 1.5 a lot, dude. Yeah, Some people run like three inch and it's yeah, freaking massive. Inch That's like the chopper dudes. <laughs> yeah, the Evo yeah. chopper dudes. Yeah, so back to the clutch. This is the Rivera Primo. This thing is amazing. Um, Works solid, man. Before the bike was just a pain in the ass to get out of gear. It was clunky, you know, would jerk me back and forth. How long had you had your old clutch before you upgraded this one? Like three years. Three years? Yeah, I ran, dude, I, I kept on trying to adjust it, man. Fucking, sometimes it would work, sometimes it would just fuck up on me, you know? So night and day difference. Yeah, so I just made the call and just got this. I mean, it was either that or get a new transmission. Oh, this is definitely cheaper. Yeah, totally. This thing was like 400. So you would recommend this to uh people? Oh yeah, I love it, man. Yeah, I have one on my bike too. And at first it's super quiet compared to Young's old clutch. I was like, man, what the hell? Mine yeah. doesn't sound as aggressive, but when you ride it, it actually makes a Yeah, difference. you can get a feel for it too. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing. So a little further back, the seat's uh, just a LaRosa seat. One of the cheaper ones. Um, these aren't really sh shocks. It's just a strut, well, well, two struts, square tubing, and I just put a shock covers over it. The reason why I did this because um, I like the ride height of it. I wanted the the frame to be parallel with the ground, right? Because the forks are pretty short. So then, before I had the shocks on there, I, I cut the springs and it, it lowered it, but then uh, it would compress and it would scrape in the turns. So this kind of slams it, but it doesn't compress the forks and, you know, it gives me that look I'm looking for. 
And then the the shot cover looks sick too. It doesn't look like you know yeah. without this, it would look hella like square and blocky. Yeah, like mine exposed, pretty much. Kinda. Yeah, I, I was gonna go that route too, but I couldn't find any shot covers. <laughs> oh yeah, you can get. But I'm gonna those. go hardtail anyway. So yeah. uh, this fender is stock. It was the front fender. Um, I think all I did was put this little fender trim. Yeah. Uh, so here's the rear tire. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, this, the swing arm is a, a panhead swing arm. The old swing arm was the square tubing one. It looked kind of dorky. Yeah. And this one, it kind of... Has a little curve to it. Yeah, it has a curve. And I, I, I'm i pretty sure it changes the, the wheelbase. It makes it... It's a little shorter, I think. I think. I don't know. Uh, this is stock wheel. The dish is from... Oh, that's mm -hmm. a 16-inch uh, tire, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a 16-inch car tire. Because uh, I know the shadow is 15. I, I didn't know they make 16 too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they, they're actually... There's like two companies that make them. I think Coker makes one and Excelsior makes another one. They, they look similar, but I just went with the Coker. Uh, the dish is from Moon Eyes. Uh, yeah, and I think that's about it, man. What's the, uh, the story on the smiley face? Well, this one... Well, I'm, this bike was heavily influenced by uh, the Japanese chopper scene. Over there, you'll notice that a lot of them have uh, very short bikes, low to the ground, fat tires, uh, high mids, and, you know, they're inverted bars. So th this was just like a, a tribute to them. Um, basically, there's a, a group in Japan, they're called um, Basara. They have these happy face stickers on there. And I really wanted to pay homage to them. So and I asked them if it was okay if I rock one of those stickers. And this is probably not the exact same one that they have, but they said, yes, it'd be cool. You gotta zoom in on the most important part. Oh yeah. This one, Vu made it. I think he had a, a friend, one of his friends. Laser etch pretty much. Yeah. I but think we only made like what three of them, huh? Yeah, Dennis has one, Vu has one. Well, Dennis doesn't have it on his bike anymore because he has the Magneto. Oh, yeah. So it's just mine, and then Vu has a, a sports here, which. So I can't rock mine because mine's a generator. <laughs> it's okay. With the cold, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's about it. Compared to the Shadow, how's the ride difference between the power, of course? Uh, It's a little more torquey. Um, but the shadow, I think it's more responsive. Like when I jerk the throttle, it'll it'll whip you back real quick. But this one, you can cruise on the freeway easier, huh? Yeah, well, I changed the gearing. I think I went 48 rear and 24. For this one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Something like that. Um, no, it's smooth, man. It's, the pipes have baffles in them. So the motor really sounds like a sewing machine kind of on the freeway. You don't really hear anything. Um, which is different from the shadow because the shadow my pipes are right up to my ears you know they're straight pipes yeah it's yeah I, this one i kind of wanted to do the same thing as the shadow in terms of like having a dirty bike but i wanted to change it up not have a hard tail i mean not a full rigid um quiet pipes you know it's, it's relaxing to ride yeah yeah the other one's rough <laughs> all right i'm sure people are wondering about the neck area what's going on with that oh dude yeah, so that's the only thing I don't like about the bike. When I bought it, the owner, he said that he had uh, raked it out a few degrees. So it looks like it looks like crap right here, man. <laughs> so he pretty much like chopped it off, right? And then raked it and then we welded, huh? Yeah, that's, and put some filler over here. It looks like, <laughs> looks like ass. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a new frame someday. Are you going to keep this forever or are you going to plan out the create to like an older Harley? I think I'm gonna keep this one, man. I don't. I love it. Maybe a different frame, huh? Clean it up. Yeah, if it really bothers me. I mean, it, it's not like ridiculous. It's not like a nah. raked out. Yeah. Only if you point it out, but it does. I, I like the front wheel to be tucked in, like close to the header. I mean, I like it nice and compact. Yeah. So that's the only thing that stands out. Who's your uh, number one builder that you get inspired from? Mm. I'd probably have to say luck. Yeah, same here. Mm. It'd be a dream come true to have one of those bikes. Seriously, dude. I know. Yeah. But they're not dirty, though. 
They're hella clean. Yeah, so I feel kind of guilty. <laughs> maybe maybe he watches the video and then he's like, dude, that's a cool bike. No. Okay. Tell us about this little mod that you spent over the weekend making. Oh, yeah. So this one is just a little, um, I guess you can call it a little bracket. It, it's called a stabilizer. There's a company called 32 Choppers. They make something very similar to for their uh wishbone kit it's just you know you made from scratch huh yeah it's what, just what gauge steel quarter inch quarter inch um <laughs> drew it out and you cut it with a angle grinder yeah well i laid it out and just yeah i wish i had a, like a plasma cutter with <laughs> nice and easy, or a bandsaw it's okay or portable yeah gotta do what you gotta do with the tools you have you know yeah, how, long, I mean, how long did it take you to make this an hour or two. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, I just laid it out and just cut it. And man, I love how clean your bars are. Yeah, it's worth not having a front brake, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it does in the mountains. I'll be breaking a lot, so. But yeah, what do you guys think of the bike? Comment below. Let we, us know. Can we fire it up? Yeah. <laughs>